Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Midland Community Stadium for the city championship game. This is Dave Marsh along with Frank Aldemore bringing you the rivalry of rivalries, the Midland High Chemics and the Dow High Chargers. Fans, this is the 46th year of the Midland Dow City Championship game, the 49th game overall. And I'm sitting next to Coach Aldemore who's seen all but one of those games. And Coach, uh, both teams seven and one coming in. We're looking forward to a great night here at the stadium. Well, first off, we have a beautiful night, just beautiful. And we've got all this uh, revelry. He's too far away from his mic. All this action. So we're just going to look, sit back, enjoy the game. It's going to be a wide open affair and just love every minute of it. You're looking at the Dow High marching band on the field. Over 250 strong. Dow High is the home team tonight. So they are on uh, the near side. On your view on the far side, that is the Midland Chemic Faithful packing the stands. And um, this, with both teams doing so well, Coach, this is one of those nights where we could be looking at eight, nine, ten thousand 10,000 people out here tonight. Absolutely beautiful night. Great teams. Both teams wide open, enjoying every minute of it, uh, of the season. And uh, both teams have the same record, seven and one. Both teams are playoff bound. Uh, both teams are playing for, again, the city championship and the right to uh, position themselves well in the playoffs. So as we, as we continue through the evening, it's going to be very interesting to watch the amount of passing that goes on and who's going to dominate in that area. So we need right now to go to our keys of the game if we could and take a look first off at, uh, I think it's Midland up first. Yeah, and as we go through this, now I want you to understand, I spent some time looking at both teams during the year and trying to establish keys to the game. Any one of these keys fit either team. So whatever you see this up here, good field position by special teams, avoid misplays and turnovers, score 40 points. That applies to both Midland and Dow. And so, you know, this field position is critical in this kind of a game because both teams, uh, to be able to make the other team drive the field is critical. Avoiding misplays and turnovers and what happens after that misplay. And that idea of scoring 40 points, uh, it's just, just a no-brainer. To me, you got to score 40 tonight. 40 I mean, points. You got, you got, listen, I think it's first to 40 to win. You're and so that, for a shootout tonight, I, I expect a shootout like no other. Now, for Dow, they have to make good open field tackling. And, again, this is the same thing for Midland. The ball's going to be passed. It's going to be control. And both teams pride themselves on yards after the catch. And so you got to have good open field tackling. But... In this case, Dow must, the quarterback for Dow must dominate the game. And I think he, he's both a, the leading rusher, he's a, the leading passer in the Valley, and he, he is a, a game changer, and he has such an easy motion throwing the ball. And I think Mid Dow has to put pressure on Midland's quarterback. They've got to get him off the spot. They have to, and, and again, that's the same thing with Midland. They have to get uh, Bruce Mann off the spot. So any one of these six keys, fit both teams because they are so similar in their style of play and their their records and their numbers uh, all fit up that way. It'll be interesting to see what happens. I know score 40 points is exciting, but uh, I figure we're going to be here till 1130. <laughs> Matter of fact, <laughs> I think the game's on TV at 1130. It'll be directly to it. <laughs> you can see the uh, Midland Chemic uh, student section Going crazy as the Chemics run onto the field over there on the visitor's side. The Chargers already lined up on the goal line as uh, the teams come out fired up and ready to roll. We are packed here at, at Midland Community Stadium, and we are going to send it on down to the field of the Dahe Marching Band playing our national anthem. As Mr. Steve DeReese, the Dow High School Band Director, conducts the Star Spangled Banner.
You're up. And we are ready to roll, fans. Once again, 250 plus strong, a phenomenal job by the marching band. And we'll get to enjoy them playing again at halftime along with the Kemick marching band. Always one of the treats of this game, Coach, really. Absolutely. Both of them. And you had mentioned uh, the quarterbacks for these two teams. Uh, Bruce Mann, the junior from Dow, having an unbelievable season, completing 68% of his passes, 1,862 yards, 26 touchdowns, only four interceptions. Counterpart for the Chemics, Peyton DeWilt. He's a senior, also having a tremendous year. 70.5% completion percentage, 1,848 yards, 19 touchdowns, eight picks. We were talking before the game about how uh, amazingly close the statistics are between these two teams. The uh, total yards for both teams are within 100. Right. The defense's total yards allowed within 100. The passing yardage between the two quarterbacks, 14 yards difference. And uh, it goes on and on. Leading rushers are within a few yards of each other. And uh, this is just uh, record-wise, both 7-1 and one coming in. Statistically across the board, this is an even matchup. Well, I think, Dave, one of the things you want to look at tonight is what happens early in the ball game. And I really think uh, that these quarterbacks, they need to get some early completions in order to gain confidence in a little bit of rhythm. And if they can do that, then they're going to be in good shape. So Dow High will kick off to start the game. Back deep for the Chemex, number five, Andre Warren, and a welcome sight, number 18, senior Luke DeLong. DeLong has missed several games with a deep thigh bruise and uh, has worked hard to get back. And uh, it's nice for him to be able to have this opportunity to play in the Midland Dow game. And Dow High, as you mentioned, will kick off. Johnny Wilson is the kicker for the Chargers. Number 14, also their starting running back. As we are about to get underway, again we mentioned Midland versus Dow. Always a great build up, an exciting night in Midland. And we are underway, a little pooch kick. It's uh, taken by Gavin Burrell. And he's only going to get out to close to the 35, well covered by Dow, but pretty good field position for the Chemics to start off. Well, that's not a bad idea because uh, Dow's kickoff team has had struggled all year with their uh, kickoff team. And that's probably not a bad idea right there to at least put it on the 35. And so first and 10 Chemics from their own 35. I mentioned uh, Peyton DeWilt, quarterback. Andre Warren will get the nod tonight as the starting running back. And handoff goes to Warren. Trying to get the edge, he does. Spins around, he's gonna pick up about seven. Dow had a shot at him in the backfield. Dow had him in the backfield and missed the tackle. And Warren is a very elusive runner. Very quick. Chemic offensive line, the center 63, Levi Schlafly, left guard 68, Austin Richards, right guard 57, Sean Nastasi, right tackle 74, Spencer Parsh, and left tackle 54, Shea Metner. Quick out to DeLong, he's got the pass, he's going to get the first down and more. Into Charger territory, he rumbles down to the 44 yard line. See, that's a very simple pattern. Uh, I'm really surprised Dow wasn't prepared for it because that's that's what something Midland does a lot. They go empty trips to the field and then throw a little screen pass out there, and they were very successful with it. Remember what we talked about, yards after the catch. Got a lot of them on that one. DeLong, Midland's second leading receiver. Um, he was a leading receiver until uh, he'd missed the last several games. Virgil Walker, number 85, has 46 catches coming in. DeLong, meanwhile, 33 catches coming in. Another quick out to DeLong again. He's got it. Amanda beat stiff arms, and he's going to pick up about five. So you have to appreciate the fact that Dow has no under coverage out there. So they're playing man-to-man, -man, two people to two people, and you can beat that. 17, Eric Huss on the tackle for the Chargers. It will bring up a second and five for Midland. 
Mason Dominowski, number four, split off wide to the right. Had a tremendous season. Martin Money, the sophomore, in motion. DeWilt's going to keep it. Cuts around outside. He's going to get the first down. Run out of bounds by Huss. But he's going to pick up enough yardage to move the chains down to the 33-yard line. Middle and High mixing it up here early. Uh, an excellent job here. Good opening series. Good opening play calls. And very up-tempo, as you can yes. see right now. They're not going into the huddle. Very up-tempo. DeWilt rolls to his right. And he's under heavy pressure. Stevenson made the initial hit. Spencer Stevenson to disrupt the play. Huge play by the Dow defense. will bring up a second and long for Midland. Good coverage Stevenson downfield. Stevenson reacted very well to that. Saw the rollout. Shot the gap. Put a lot of pressure, and we'll see it on the instant replay. Here comes Stevenson right through the open gap, and you know you got to put a block on him. It, yeah, he just blew a, up the blocker. Just, yeah, just a little, excuse me, block isn't going to work. <laughs> Stevenson, a phenomenal linebacker. He's just a junior, 6'1", 220. He wreaks havoc for that Charger defense. DeWilt back to pass. Fires down. Got to be a flag on that one. It was uh, intended for DeLong and uh, hit well early by Justin Cook. Pretty easy call for the official on that one. It was good defense all the way around to the, to the, uh, until he hit him. Until he hit him. I mean, they had him pretty well covered. Yeah. They both ran into each other, and when that happens, you just got a little over yeah. anxious and trying to make contact. And so that'll march the ball down to the 24-yard line. Midland is moving the ball beautifully right now. Bring second and one. Called a long one, but nevertheless one. Trips right. Money split way to the left. Josh Reitma, his man coverage on him out to the left. Dominowski, Walker, in the long to the right. Warren in the backfield. Handoff is to Warren. Spins ahead. He's going to pick up a few yards. Enough for a first down. Did pick up the first. Uh, Ritma came in to make a hit to try to hold him short, but not quite. Midland moves the chains again. Ball down to the 22-yard line. Effective drive for Midland so far. They're going to have a different look in here now. Sam Vocal, number 35, their leading rusher on the season, checks in at running back. It's interesting, Dow is switching their two wide receivers, Devontae Stein and Mike Robb are playing outside linebacker. Vocal, 436 yards rushing in the year. DeWilt's gonna keep it, drives ahead, he's tripped up. Look like uh, Spencer Hulbert uh, had him around the ankles. Stevenson also in on the stop. See, I expect to see a lot of that tonight. I expect to see DeWilt carry the ball more and more as the game goes on. Dow's run defense has not been as strong this year as it's been in the past. And you can attack Dow's, running, uh, Dow's run defense. Dow's defensive line, 58, Devin Anzarut. Again, here's the trips to the field which usually we see some sort of a, a flare. Will back to pass, got a little time, finds Walker, and he drives ahead for a couple extra yards. Pretty good tackling there by Cook and Ritma, but they're gonna move the chains once again. Methodical drive here for Midland, just this outside the 10 yard line. This is something you really wanna look for, and that is that you have to be able to get some under coverage on Walker. He catches an awful lot of those over the middle, slant passes, uh, little curls and hooks that are very efficient. And he's 6'5", so he cannot jump most anybody. Virgil Walker has really come into his own here the senior season. Power backfield for Midland. DeLong's going to get the carry, going to drive ahead for a minimal gain, but he does get inside the 10, down to about the 9. Call it two yards on the carry. Ball by number 18, Luke 
DeLong. They are a better the team with DeLong in there. Much better team. Empty backfield for DeWilt. Back to pass. He's looking for Walker. Great pass, and he takes it into the end zone. Walker caught it. It was hit by Haas. He was able to break the tackle, and Midland strikes pay dirt. That was a tremendous pass by DeWilt. Great pass, great catch, and a great open field run. And go along with that, and this is where you talk about open field tackling. You know, that was a shoulder tackle without wrapping it up. And when you have that happen, then you're going to run in trouble. Here's, here's what I'm talking about. No under coverage for Dow. Oh, that's, that's, the, that's the stunt. Extra point is up and good for the Chemex. Well, if I'm Midland, that's way too easy. And if I'm Dow, I'm concerned. So they, Dow now has to take the football and answer that. Remember what I told you, it's first to 40. <laughs> it's going to be uh, that kind of a game. Well, a very impressive drive, aided a little bit by that pass interference, but uh, Midland showed uh, just a good mix well, of they, play calls. A, and added by two things. First off, you get 35-yard field position to start the drive, which puts you in great, you just love that as a coach. And then you do get the penalty, but you had two big pass receptions by Walker that, that made it happen. Gavin Archibald kicked the extra point to make it 7-0 Chemex, and he will he will do the kickoff duties. We'll look at this touchdown one more time. Nice turn and out. Oh, yep. You see what I mean? There's the lack of the wrap-up right there by Huss. you got to wrap him up. He's not an easy person to bring down. No, he's not. Kickoff is fielded at the 17. Go, good return. And Dow's going to have good field position. They will start at the 35-yard line. That was uh, returned by Jared Mohammed, number six. And the Chargers will take possession for the first time today, led by junior quarterback Bruce Mann. Offensive line, you'll see a lot of uh, Ryan Mary, Brad Drinkpool, Spencer Hulbert, Travis Wilford, Cesar Gonzalez, Kevin Murray. I'll see action on that offensive line for the Chargers. Mann rolls to his left, back to pass. Wide open, he overthrows Cook. Justin Cook uh, was open. Uh, pretty good protection by the Charger offensive line. Let that play develop and... Uh, Very interesting. They went under center with a fullback, Scott uh, Stevenson, Spencer Stevenson, and then threw a play action pass at it. And he was wide open. Wide open. Cook with 23 catches on the year coming in. You mentioned Mike Robb, 6'6", senior, 40 catches for 539 yards. And uh, Devontae Stein, big another big receiver for Dow. The man's gonna keep it and a good hard run. He is tough to bring down as we observed right there. Gavin Burrell uh, had the initial hit and uh, Bruce Mann, 6'2", 210, is a load. Looked like he could have been stopped for no gain. Instead he picks up three. Burrell's the leading tackler for Midland, and that's, uh, that says a lot for his safety. Be third and seven for Dow. Four receivers split to the left. Mike Robb out to the right. This is a unique lineup. It sure trips. is. Stat Man back trips. to pass, he's looking for Robb. He's got it, goes up to get it. That's that 6-6 six, six frame. DeLong brings him down. It was actually decent coverage, but a well-thrown ball threw it up high where only Rob could get it. And uh, DeLong saved the it. touchdown right there. He made a, not only a good tackle, but he, he wrapped him up and, and brought him to the ground. He doesn't make the play, it's a touchdown. Down into Kemick territory to the 43. So just like Midland moved the ball effectively, their first drive, here come the Chargers. Man, back to pass. He's got time again. Finds Rob again. 
And he's run out of bounds by Burrell, but a pretty good pickup on first down. Let's call it seven. If man gets that kind of time to throw, he's going right. to pick he's, apart. They're the not making him move his feet. This is one of the things we talked about earlier, the ability to move, make the quarterback move their feet. He's able to stand in there, and he has easy gas. That ball just is coming out nice and smooth and easy. Well, so did DeWilt. I mean, it came yeah. out nice and easy yeah. for him, too. Both are good quarterbacks. Second and three, Cook in motion to the left. Man has time again, and he's got Cook. They do really to catch. He went down and got it. It's going to be another first down, down to the 23-yard line. See, Justin Cook is one of my underrated players. I think he does a great job. I think, you know, he's uh, just been a fantastic offense and defensive player all year long. And, you know, he, he gets uh, kind of the short shift with Rob and Devontae Stein. So, but he, he's a dangerous receiver. Got to watch. Uh, number 10, Vince Walker. It's a dangerous pass walker. The option to the left to Wilson, and he's knocked down by Shane Meyer after about a two yard gain. I was mentioning There's Walker's an outstanding had a, job of stretching that out. Yeah. Walker, number 10, is wreaked havoc for Midland as a pass rusher and a, a big playmaker. The Dow offensive line has done a good job with him so far. Second and eight. Kemmick's five minutes to go here in the first quarter. There has been a lot of action right here from the get-go. When you have two solid quarterbacks, a lot can happen. That was back in their empty formation, quads to the left. Man, that usually means they're going to Rob. They do, he's got it, touchdown. Great throw, great catch, and the Chargers respond. <laughs> I was gonna See say, what I mean about easy gas? I mean, <laughs> yeah. that ball was just easy. Watch how easy this is thrown. I mean, right there, right on the money, big, long stretch, and let's reach out and get in. Rob's a problem. I mean, it was still a pretty good coverage, but you get that big frame. He just throws it up high, and Rob brings it down for the TD. Wilson to kick the extra point. The hold is down. Huss with the hold, Stevenson with the snap, Wilson with the extra point, and we are tied. 7-7, seven, seven. each team with an impressive offensive display here early in the first quarter. Taking a look again, a lot of time. Four to the left, which puts one-on-one -on -one coverage on the backside, and to tell you the truth, there's an example of what I talk about all, all time the coaches, and that is your linebackers have to get better drops because you've got these receivers running slants inside of you. You have to get better drops. And both teams, both linebackers have allowed the slant pass to occur. And when that happens, you're giving that receiver a wide open shot. And you give Walker or you give Rob those opportunities, they're going to catch the football. <laughs> well, we'll see if... Uh the defensive coaches uh, respond to that. I'm sure they will. And uh, the other thing, Coach, really impressed with Dow's offensive line on that drive. I was impressed with the fact that he, uh, there was never a movement of his foot. I mean, he planted his foot. He threw the ball. Plenty of time. This time Wilson drives it. Money is going to return from the four. Comes a little crease up the middle. Still on his feet. Drives ahead. And they will start from the 33, so pretty good field position on all three drives starting out uh, for both teams. That was a tremendous blow up by Spencer Stevenson. Just blew up the whole wall and allowed the other guys to get in there for the tackle. Martin Money, also a key target uh, for Midland. He's got 13 catches on the year, 179 yards. I mentioned Mason Dominowski. Hasn't caught one yet, but watch out for him. 32 catches, 431 yards. And when DeLong was out with his injury, he really stepped up. Back to pass. It's Money a little bit short on the pass. Money couldn't quite bring it in. And it'll be second and ten. See, Kemmich. Martin Money is my underrated player for Midland. He's a... Uh, he is money. He's, he's a uh, second-generation money. Uh, 
all these his uncles and have played for Midland High, and now he's a it's his turn, and he is an outstanding player. Trips right. It's going to be that quick out to DeLong. He's got spins ahead. Going to be minimal game. Mike Robb with a nice play, tripping him up. If he doesn't uh, trip him up, DeLong is probably going to pick up another five yards. So third and eight for the Chemex. It's the first time Dow's had, or Midland's had third and long, I believe. Yes, it is. This is going to be interesting to see what happens here, Dave. Andre Warren in the slot to the left. Money split far left. Walker, Dominowski in the long right. They got the big three on the right side here, so you know it's going there. Good got pass, to Warren, good but pass. it's well defended. Well defend, yeah. Muhammad and Ritma all over that. They smelled that one. It's kind of a long pass across field. Took Jared, a time Jared to get Mohammed there. Jared has been an outstanding player. Here comes the replay, and it's watch Jared Muhammad. Again, no under coverage. And again, the linebacker not in position, but watch Jared Muhammad here come and square up. See how he squared up, made a nice tackle, and allowed uh, Reitman to come in and make a play. Yeah, first, he had, Here's our first punt. He's from the right hash, throwing all the way across the field. Took a while for it to get there. Money with a punter for Midland. It takes a Dow bounce, and so... Uh, not a great punt there, and Dow will have great field position at around the 40-yard line on their second possession. So will the Chargers defense responded after Midland's successful opening drive. We'll see what happens here with the Kemick defense. Zach Donahue, Vince Walker, Greg Landis on the defensive front for the Kemmicks. Linebackers, number seven, Gavin Burrell, 20, Shane Meyer, number one, Brody Curley, and number nine, Max Clemish. Well, here we are with the same formation. They ran the first play of the game. Roll out Rolls the same right. way. Great pickup by heavy pressure, and there's Walker. That time did not have as much time. He rolled to the right. Good pickup of the block by Wilson on the left side. And you'll but see Walker better defense. Better defense by Midland on the outside here. It's more of a stunt and by Walker. Here comes the backside protected and here comes Walker on a play and he got to it. Huge that loss. Big loss. 11 yard sack by Walker. It'll bring up a second and 21. Two and a half to go here in the first quarter. Man, back to pass. He's looking for Wilson over the middle. He's got him. Good job by Wilson to go up and get it. A lot of zip on that ball by Mann. Burrell on the tackle. Man read through his progression, and you'll see where Wilson is open right away. You'll see Johnny right there. He's open right now. Uh, again, no under coverage. Third I know, and seven. I know you got a harp on that, but it just seems, you know, when you're running against passing teams, it's the under coverage that stops them. Third and seven. The Chemics jump. Oh, that's a big penalty. It's going to turn a third and seven to a third and two. Hard, hard count by Mann drew the Chemex. And uh, they've had some problems with penalties the last couple games. I'm trying to clean that up it was Coach Metner. And uh, right there, that was a big costly penalty. Actually, we're going to call it third and one. That leaves a... Uh, Opens things up. I wouldn't be surprised to see Mann keep it here. Me neither. He's only run it once. He's a tremendous, he's the leading uh, rusher for Dow High. Huss in motion. It is going to be Mann. He's got room to run, tripped up, but not until he, he did pick up the first down, Clemish on the tackle, but he only needed that was, one. He that got was a good three. move by Clemish because he was running a long way here. Very good play by Clemish. Now, we all knew man was going to run the yep. football. I think everyone in the stadium may have known yeah. that. DeLong, Chance, Freed, Dominowski, and Grant Granesco in the secondary for Midland. Into Midland territory from the 48. Man looking to pass his time again. Looking for Stein. Got him. And that's a touchdown. 
He dropped it right in the bread basket for Devontae Stein, caught it in stride and goes for the 48 yard score. And it's a beautiful pass. I mean, absolutely beautiful. Not under any rush at all. Nice throw. Look at this layup. You can't throw it any better you than that. And you can't run it any better. And we're talking about a 6-4 receiver. And, and Dave, you thought 40 points was gonna be too much. And I don't think, I think I may have to adjust my <laughs> thinking and go 50. I, I don't think either team's gonna be able to stop the other. Although Dow did a great job on the last series. But in, in my mind, Midland stopped themselves a couple on yeah. a couple of plays there. Well, then so it's the going to be it's going to be wide open. And you know what? This is great for fans. They see the football. You know, it's not it's not a typical Dow Midland football game where it's just grind them out. Hand great defense. This is going to be wide open football. So Devante Stein, you saw him right there. He's having a great senior season. That's his 22nd catch on the year. 404 yards coming in. That's his ninth touchdown on the season. And uh, Dow goes on top 14-7. Sometimes you say to yourself, man, I can't lose a possession here. You gotta exactly. Keep your, you got to keep the possessions. I actually had that feel on Midland's second possession when they had to punt. It, you kind of said, uh-oh. Well, can't lose this possession. We'll see if the Kamiks can respond here. Wilson to do the kickoff duties. Line drive, it's money from the two. Out to the 20. The spin ahead still on his feet to about the 24. He's a load. Okay, that's the best I've seen Dow's kickoff team go all year long, right there. I mean, I was critical earlier in the year about their kickoff team because it is, just didn't tackle anybody. But they are down there and very aggressive. You, you're going to see that they're going to break. They're going to break through the wall, and you're going to control the perimeter. See what I mean? See how, that, see how that perimeter is controlled and squeezed in there, there, and so you you got some players coming up, making some pretty good hits. Like Michael Bricola on the the stop for Dow. First and 10 from the 24. Warren's gonna grind ahead out to the 25. Drink pool Stevenson in on the tackle. You can say those two names, a lot of plays for Dow. Both uh, Brad Drink pool, a senior, starts on the offensive and defensive lines. He's number 54, and we mentioned before, Spencer Stevenson, a junior, number 34, taking care of business on the inside. Second and nine for the Chemics. DeWilt back to pass. Fires. He's got Walker. Great tackle by Huss that time. He's going to be a little short. That was a solid pass. That's a, that's a long pass. Solid pass and a solid tackle. I think the spots, that was a good spot for Dow because he pushed him back and they Marked him where he came down, not forward progress, but it'll be end of the third quarter. And one as we end the first quarter. Wow, that quarter went by a lot faster than I thought it was going <laughs> to. Well, that's because uh, effective running quarterbacks making uh, a lot of completions, and uh, yeah, usually when you're marching up and down the field, it takes a little longer. But 14-7. Uh, and uh, Dow on top. Fans, you're watching this Midland Dow football game on MCTV 189 and Charter Communications. You can also find the game on Channel 99 through AT&T's U-verse. This game will be cable cast on the following dates and times. It's Friday, October 23rd at 11 p.m. Saturday, October 24th and Sunday, October 25th at 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. After this weekend, the game will be shown on MPS TV 190. Check this Sunday. Midland Daily News and Midland Public Schools website at www.midlandps.org for more dates and times. The game will also be shown on the school's YouTube channel. So 
We're about to start the second quarter. Third and one for the Chemex. Now Midland has the wind. DeWilt's gonna keep it. He's gonna drive ahead, move the chains. He has a first down. Spencer Hulbert in on the stop for Dow. I've been really impressed all year with Peyton DeWilt. He has improved dramatically since he, his junior year. He's the year. nephew of uh, the Bonnell family in Midland. All right. And uh, the Bonnells played for me many, many years ago. First and 10 from the 36. Pitch right. Warren. Cuts ahead, he's gonna lose yardage. You gotta give uh, a lot of credit to Mike Robb on that play. He got into the backfield, forced uh, Warren to cut up right into the Charger defense. No gain on the play. Long checks back in. I've been impressed with Rob and Stein's toughness out here on defense. Usually you don't get that out of pass receivers. <laughs> Second and 10 for the Chemex. Trips left. Money to the right. Wilt back to pass. Fires got a completion. That was to uh, Money. Going to get out to the 44. It'll bring up a third and two. Chemex. See, there's that. Catch the ball and make the tackle. I mean, you're going to have to accept the fact they're going to catch the football. They're going to make some good passes. You just can't allow anybody to have a yard after the catch. This is DeWilt running the football. Oh, he's going to throw the football. All Back right. Pass fires. He's got him. That's Dominowski for the completion. Just into Charger territory. With the 40, 49. First and 10, Chemex. Yeah, both these quarterbacks, they put some zip on that ball. Muhammad way left to check money. He was way split far to the right. Money really splitting out uh, a lot more than we've seen him before. Empty backfield again for the Chemex. Both teams employ this offense. Back to pass, he's gonna fire downfield to Warren, he's got him, wow. What a pass, what a catch. I honestly thought, honestly thought it was gonna be intercepted. In traffic. I honestly thought Josh Reitman had this one. Oh, he but, don't, you know, it was just a great pass. Just didn't get it, right in fantastic between Cook, pass. Right between Cook and Reitman, pretty dangerous probably, yeah, but I mean, confident in that, the power in his arm was Peyton DeWilt. Midland student section enjoying that play. Their team marches down to the 25 yard line. So we'll pass again. Scott Walker, stiff arm. Whoa, what a play. That was Huss uh, hang on, hung, hanging on for dear life, but uh, Virgil Walker picking up about an extra five yards with that stiff arm. Speaking Virgil of Walker toughness out there. A, a, a very, very good receiver and very difficult now to bring down. Earlier in the year, he was a good receiver. Now he's a good receiver and then he becomes a runner. Second and one. I've been impressed with Walker all year. His, his Absolutely. pass catching ability. He is really yes. taking strides this his senior year. Back to pass, fires, he's got money. Still on his feet, juts ahead, and he is! Touchdown, Chemex! Didn't know if they were gonna, he was a little short, but what an effort by money. That was a tremendous run by Martin, Martin money. money. Oh my. Remember what I told you, he is an underrated player. He's my underrated player. He'd get the ball a lot more. That was impressive. They did a crossing route. He kind of settled in the middle. And we have breaks. one, two missed tackles, two arm tackles, then a great block. It's uh, DeLong. By DeLong that spring, brings him into the end zone. And we're tied. Kevin Archibald with the extra point. We got to 
We've got to catch our breath, Coach. I am telling you, Dave, that this is the way this game is going to go. Or These two team. offenses are really too much for the secondaries. 14 I mean, all. Well, you can go across the board three, four deep with quality receivers for both teams. Right. And right. quarterbacks that can deliver it. Quarterbacks that can throw the football. And, and now you're forced to, if you make a mistake, they're going to be in the end zone. Max Pash running the touchdown flag for the Chemex. And so uh, Archibald will do the kickoff duties again. Wow, what a run by money. I figured, you know, they're going to be happy to get a first down in there, but he said, forget that. I'm looking for the end zone. Let me tell you this. Martin Money might be the best runner on the field tonight. Short pooch kick, and it's going to hit the ground. Uh -oh. It's still loose. Huss finally gets it. He's in trouble. Brought down by the two, and they're going to call face mask on the play. Oh, what a big penalty. A great kick. Never I mean, let the ball hit the ground. Never let the kickoff hit the ground. See how he stops right yeah. there? Because oh, you don't know wow. what the ball will do. Just catch it. But Dow gets a huge break. They were looking at the two-yard line, and they're whistled for a face mask, which is actually going to give them... Well, they're going to call the five-yard variety. <laughs> so it'll be at the eight-yard line. So the uh, worst field position for either team starting out tonight. That's a big special team play by the Chemex. So we talked about special team training. That was very nearly a, a, a muff kick that would have led to a play for Midland. So we'll see how the Charger offense responds. They have uh, been full throttle from the beginning here. This is their third possession. They scored on their first two. Huss in motion. Man's going to keep it. He's got room to run. He's got a block by Rob up ahead. Finally run out of bounds at the 30-yard line. That's his best running play is when they kind of play action and he goes off the right side. He's gained a lot of yards this year doing that. He is a serious two-way threat. For Midland Dallas. must account for him. He is there. You know, you, you always account for your leading rusher and your leading passer. He's both. He's both. And so you have to account for him. Stevenson in the backfield for Dow. But he's going to go in off to the left side. And it's going to be man again. Good tackle by Brody Curley. He was not fooled on that play. It was a fake handoff to Wilson. And a man picks up three yards. Second and seven for the Chargers. Eight minutes to go in the second quarter. We're knotted at 14. Ball flying all over this field. Just a, a lot of great football plays so far in the early going. Both teams have been very impressive offensively. This is that quads to the right. So watch and for now Rob. Watch for Rob all by himself, one on one with DeLong. That's who he's looking That's what for. They want right there. And he's got him. And he breaks the tackle. And then it goes out of bounds at the 49. So DeLong's hung with him most of the time. That time, uh, Rob uh, eluded the tackle and uh, gets first down yardage to the 49. Dow marching quickly and effectively again on this drive. Again, an excellent pass, reception, and run after the catch. Rob's a big problem. You throw it up high, you can't really defend it. Two running backs this time. Man's going to keep it. Good block by Cook. And he fumbles the ball, but he's going to be recovered by Dow. Looked like Stevenson may have been out there. Big stick by the Kemick defense. Jars the ball loose, but uh, Dow able to jump on it. Actually, it was Drinkpool with the recovery. 
Great block by uh, Justin Cook Absolutely. over on the left edge. Absolutely. Really, the play wasn't going to gain much. The block allowed I, I'm impressed with game. the blocking by both teams and their receivers. Back to pass. Got some pressure. He's going to get the first down. See what I mean? You have to have somebody account for him because he, really he will break you must need a spy on him just there to. There have to be. So now marches down to the 38 yard line. 6.45. We're going to see Rob to all by himself down here. With all the receivers, you almost have to go man in most cases. Man's going to keep it again. This time he's uh, brought down by Greg Landis, number 48. After a one-yard gain, that time he tried to go left, he is seems more effective when he runs to the right. Second and nine. They're gonna they when they go uh, those quads and trips to one side and leave Matt or uh, Rob out by himself. They sure like to go to him. This time he's part of that uh, trips bunch. Watch out for a bubble screen here. Nope, man's gonna keep it still on his feet. Oh, what a play, still going, finally brought down by Burrell, but he was dead to rights in the backfield, broke the tackle, See, when and you got have a big all game. these receivers out there, you lose all the undercover. So here, Midland's on a stunt. He beats the stunt right there, poor tackling, and now he's off to the races, and that is a touchdown saving tackle right there by Burrell. So third and two, there's going to be a third and long, but the uh, strong running by man makes it a more manageable down. Wouldn't be surprised to see him run it again here. He goes up, back shoulder throw, what a pass. Completed to Stein. Dominowski on the coverage, but a uh, great back shoulder throw by man. That was, that was big time right there. It, was, it really was. was. Big time throw and a big, big time reception. Yeah, high school guy with that kind of arm throwing back shoulder throws like that on a dime. Tremendous. First and We'll call it first and 10, 10 at the 12, maybe the 13. Cook in motion. They're going to try to throw it back to him. Oh, that's a great job by Mann again. This is uh, Landis with the stop. It was kind of a play where Cook reversed in the backfield, and Mann showed great patience to, to wait on that and let Cook get open. Greg Landis for the Watch here, Cook comes out of the backfield, it's decent coverage, he waited until he cleared the defense and got down to the nine. Second and six. And Midland jumps offsides again. They didn't really think they crossed the line, I don't think, but uh, they did jump. And so that moves the ball inside the five. That'll bring up second down and one for the Chargers on the Kimmich's four yard line. Those Clock are, wise. Those are big yards to gain big. in there because they're hard to get. Yeah, there's not as much room for right. patterns to develop. Right. It'll bring second and one. Let's see if man keeps it here. He does. Oh, good job that time. Kemic defense, big stick by Walker. He stood him up. It kind of gets a little more condensed in there and you don't have to worry. Sometimes I used to tell our guys, we need to take a penalty so we have some room to run and play. So it'll bring up third and two. That, that was very impressive by Walker. His helmet popped off. He got shaken up a little bit, so he's coming out. Not a great time for him to be out of the lineup, but Third and two for the Chargers. They've marched from the eight yard line all the way down to the Midland five. Man pitched to Wilson. He's got room to run. Cuts back. 
Drives, he's short of the touchdown, but he's gonna get the first, I believe. Nice run by Wilson. Let's see what they, it's gonna be close. The spot. And they call first, first down, down Chargers. Yep. Hard to see when the flag, uh, the sticks are on one side and the ball's on the other, but that was a great effort by Wilson, right, to get the get the first down. First and goal from the two. This might be Bruce Mann territory here. Stevenson empties the backfield. And coach Jason Watkins is gonna call timeout. The play clock winding down. And I don't think he wants to give up yardage to get more room to throw here. I no, think he's gonna look he's for gonna... a man to punch Ladies it in. Sure I think he wanted to see what Midland was gonna do there. And Man, their leading rusher coming in with 439 yards. He scored six touchdowns. We were talking this week at the Midland Sports Lunch and Coach. Uh, congratulations to the New York Mets and uh, Terry Collins, your brother-in-law, the manager that, huh? of the Mets. How exciting for uh, our whole family for Midland. Is, yes. Hey, your family must be Family's excited. Family's excited. The Frankly, city of Midland is yeah, excited. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, it's just a wonderful thing, Terry. Uh, as, I, as I said earlier, Terry called me one. No, hey, what do you think about the ball game tonight? <laughs> And I'm going to have a little more things you to think about. You talk about the Cubs game? And yeah, you, and he said, well. Said, no, the Midland Dow game. He said, that's exciting. <laughs> that's he said, great. I wish I was there. He said, I, <laughs> I just love that game. I love the excitement. I love the fact that high school football still is alive and well. It's a, uh, he's a true Midlander, Terry Collins. Good luck to the Mets and Terry. Here we go. First and goal. Man's going to roll right. Keep it. Drive ahead, he's close, touchdown. touchdown. He just picked his way till he found a little crease and drove ahead, crosses the line, and Dow takes the lead again. What a football half he has had. This is a beautiful run again. Let's watch the blocking on the outside. There's Rob doing a great job. Here comes Spencer Stevenson off the corner, and that is what you need to have, and that big guy, 6'2", I mean, he is a big person. You know, there are 6'2 guys that are not very big. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's a big 6'2". Yeah. yeah, Stevenson's block kind of pushed the yeah. defense back just enough where man could uh, had room to punch it in. Wilson for the point after Huss. High snap, brings it down. Beautiful. But it's good. Good kick. And Dow goes up 21-14 as the fireworks continue here at Midland Community Stadium. All right. So now Midland has to answer. And other than one time, they have each time. Yeah, that's the difference now, in the game. That's the difference in the game. So Midland now has three minutes and 20 seconds to respond to this. But still, even if they don't, it's a very manageable seven-point game. Right. Wow. What a game we have going on here. It's, we mentioned it's the 46th city championship game. The 48th time the two teams have gone head-to-head -head, because twice they've met in the playoffs. Could happen again this year, I think, couldn't it? I think we're playing right now for home field advantage next week. Could they play each other? Each other. I really believe they will play each other next week. The winner is going to be the home team. The loser will be the visitor. Never real big on that. It'd be, it'd be nice maybe to meet the second round, but when you play back-to-back, -back, it I just know. is kind of... kind of takes a little off it. Yeah. But... Um, Players will be fired up about it for either way. And so Dow trying to win for the second consecutive season. They won last year 35-17. High kickoff. Fielded by Money at the 12. Money trying to find his way. Gets a few extra yards out to about the 28. Stevenson on the tackle as well as Michael Brickholt. Hunter Clipper also in on that stop. 314 to go here in the second quarter. Down on top, 21-14. They have 
Their offense has been firing on all cylinders. Midland has not found an answer. That's going to be interesting to see on both sides, really, if uh, when they go into halftime, Coach Metner and Coach Watkins, two tremendous coaches, see what kind of adjustments will be made. But in the meantime, the Chemic offense looking to respond to that Charger touchdown. DeWilt back to pass. Going to try to run it. Breaks a couple tech, a good hard run before he's thrown down by Stevenson. Impressive play by DeWilt. Yes, Pick it up. was. He, he took on a linebacker and, and shucked the linebacker's tackle. Picks up six. Back to pass. He's got time. Throws it high to money. Great job out there by Muhammad. It's going to be very close. It looks like they may give him the first down yardage. Very close. And they're going to move the chains. Yep. First down. I thought, it was, I thought his forward progress was enough to get him a first down. Money goes up high to bring that one down. Money's big body out there. He's, a, he's got broad shoulders. Just a, a solid kid. Trips left. Empty backfield again. Back to pass. Fires. Overthrows Dominowski. Coverage by Cook. I think they may have been looking for uh, De, uh, DeLong out in the flat, but it was well covered. Well covered, yes. And a uh, smart play by uh, DeWill to check off that and throw the safer pass. Second and 10, 226. On the other side, Midland sure doesn't want to give Dow the ball again here this half. Ideally, they'd like to march down the field and score in the closing Big seconds. Big play right here, Dave. Second and 10. Got to get a little bit of it. He's got time to throw. Finally under pressure, throws it away. See, so I mean, now it's third and 10. Dow's offensive defensive line is going to rear back and go. Not, no pressure other than DeWilt running the football. And the secondary has been up to the task so far. Yeah, that, that was a coverage, well covered. Had initially had time and then uh, I'm gonna started to, to break Walker down. I'm going to right here. Third and 10. This is a huge play. Look to Walker. If they don't convert, Dow is going to get the ball back with plenty of time. DeWilt back to pass. He's got time. Fires for Walker. He's going to drive it. Good extra effort. Oh, my gosh. He broke the tackle of Stevenson to get the first down yardage. He was going to be a yard shy and just drove ahead. That's impressive. Brings it to the 49. What a big play. Walker. He looks to him. Whenever he really needs yards, he looks to Walker. And that he should look to Walker. I mean, that's the big target, just big like target. Rob. Good hands. First and ten. Clock runs just under two minutes to go. To Wilt, back to pass again. He's got Walker again. Fumbles the ball, and Dow's going to recover. All right, there's a strip. 77. Kevin Murray on the, the fumble recovery. Walker. Well, Walker's going to catch out. the football, and he's going to try to get some extra yards out of it. But he can and, let the ball hang he out. catches the ball here. Again, a beautiful route and a very good pass. Now, here comes Huss up and makes a good play. There's the ball out, oh, and he, as he reaches, he, he just lost, he the, lost the control of it, right? He, he didn't it tuck it far. down, and, no. and Dow scoops it up with a minute and 45. That's not a not a good thing. Remember we talk about misplays and yep. turnovers. That's huge. Dow usually wants to go big. Man, he's going to keep it. He got a block. Still on his feet. And he's going to get out to very close to the first down. So both teams have a fumble. Dow recovered their own. That time Midland fumbles. Dow uh, recovers. And they're on the move. Second in inches. The clock is running. A minute and a half to go. This is a big time for the Chemic defense. Down by seven, sure don't want to go down by two touchdowns and give Dow the momentum going into the locker room. 
Well, Dow's moving a little bit slow with very little sense of urgency here. Rob basically lined up as a tight end, but he's going to slip out. That was the play all along. And he is gets out of bounds alertly. It was a uh, good job by Rob uh, Donahue on the tackle. A, a little unusual formation. They put him basically as a tight end. He slips right. out. He cut up field. I was about to say he should have gone out of bounds, but then he uh, changed his mind and got Dow out. Dow has lots of plays. <laughs> they do. I mean, they have lots of plays. I was happy with, you know, three each way because I only had, you know, certain plays <laughs> that could run. But Dow, Dow's got about 500 plays. Yeah, they and they run them all effectively. Now they got a penalty. It's an ineligible receiver downfield. It's going to be a five-yard penalty. It'll nullify the uh, first down, bring up second and five for Dow with a minute four to go in the half. Midland must escape here at this point in the game. They cannot allow a two-touchdown deficit at halftime. And Dow, low snap. Man picks it up. Brought down by Walker. Another big defensive play by Walker. He's hobbled a little bit, but... That low snap kind of cost uh, the Chargers big time there. Bring up third and 12, the clock is running, 38 seconds to go. Dow will get the ball to start the second half. So we'll see how they play this one. The clock is moving, Huss in motion. Fumble! Now it's a lateral, Cook's looking to throw. He's not there, so he's going to try to run it, and he's brought down by Burrell. And uh, Dow probably will let the clock run out now. He tried a little trickeration. Cook has thrown it effectively. They've hit some big plays with him throwing. Good timeout by Midland, forcing Dow now to punt the ball. Good timeout. So on fourth down, yeah, Midland will... Have Dow punt just to see if maybe they can make something happen. 7.8 seconds to go. So the uh, de the Midland defense responds to that turnover. Now, last Saturday, 10 seconds to go. Yeah. You know you're gonna you're gonna put the rush on here and try to put try pressure. to get a block. Yes. And then hopefully uh, go from there. So Dow will hope that their punter actually catches the ball. Well, we've had three bad <laughs> snaps in a row Michigan. here, you know. Well, it's true. I think Stevens, Stevens is a long is, snapper Stevens on the extra points. Snapper. Yeah, man is back to punt. I would not be shocked to see him fake it here and throw it downfield to Rob, because Rob is is in tight formation there. It is a low snap, and he just gets rid of it. And it's going, Dow should just let the clock run, and they do. So effective punt by man. And the clock expires. First half is in the books, coach. Wow. Dow on top, 21-14. Wow, what okay. action we've had. That was an impressive half. Very impressive. Yes, the days of Coach Quick and Stoppert running the ball oh, yeah. 60 times each, oh, yeah. those are uh, long gone. <laughs> yeah, they're, uh, they're rolling right now, those two guys. <laughs> Say, where's all the people in the backfield? And, uh, and so, yeah, back and forth we go. This is the case where Midlands had the ball twice where they didn't score, now once. Dow, we mentioned, will get the ball to start the second half. And, uh, well, Coach, you said team that gets to 40, Dow's halfway there. And it'll be very interesting to see what kind of uh, uh, adjustments we have well, at half. Well, here's the deal. It, a lot of times it's, it's who blinks first. You know, uh, we've had a couple of situations here where both teams have had opportunities, lost the opportunity. It's right at the end here. Dow has an opportunity and has some bad snaps and the fumble by Walker. Right. You know, those are those are the kind of plays that, uh, in many cases, determine the ball game. Yeah, absolutely. And so we are going to 
send it down to the field. As uh, we mentioned before, one of the highlights of the season is the Kemic Marching Band and the Dow High Marching Bands will both enter the field and end up uh, playing together. So we're going to send it down. Enjoy halftime, everybody. We'll see you in the second half. Ladies and gentlemen, under the direction of Mr. William Monroe, Mr. Chris O'Connell, and Mrs. Karen Walser, with percussion specialist Judith Peterson, it's the Midland High School Chemic Marching Band. Band, take the field. Time shows this year have all been about the British Isles. Tonight, the Chemic Marching Band will play music from the iconic British rock group Queen with a touch of the Beatles thrown in. It's Bohemian Rhapsody and Yesterday. Band, are you ready?
Ladies and gentlemen, 250 strong, the largest band in our school's history, and one of the largest high school marching bands in the Great Lakes Bay region, the H.H. Dow High School Charger Marching Band. We are the sound of Charger spirit. The new Star Wars movie, with members of the old cast, is coming to a theater near you. We hope to get you in the space adventure mood with the main title theme that was composed for the original movie by John Williams. The band will spell out Star Wars, move a spaceship across the field, form a Darth Vader helmet, and finally, depict Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi in an ep epic lightsaber battle. And now, senior drum major Andrew Wong and Star Wars. And now, we welcome the Chemic Marching Band back to the field. We now have an amazing 450 band students in place and ready to play. The combined band will perform a hit song that was made famous by Fall Out Boy. It is entitled, I Don't Care.
You may have noticed the boat bands are looking a little brighter this evening. Thanks to the generous support of our community and local foundations, the recent Looking Sharp fundraiser for replacement uniforms was a huge success. This evening, there are many students sporting brand new uniforms with even more on the way. Thank you. We are excited to welcome the Dow High and Midland High Pom Pom Squads to the field for a recent hit song that was recorded by Megan Trainer. Lips are moving. If you are trying to keep track, we are getting close to 500 students on the field at one time. As they leave the field, let's have another big round of applause for the combined Midland Public Schools High School Marching Bands and pom Squads. Squad. for that tremendous performance by the Midland High and Dow High bands. And, uh, Ladies and gentlemen, please make sure to buy your Great job, and Coach, uh, I counted 22 players out there. I know that's your, uh, I know. That's your favorite that thing. <laughs> it was yeah. awesome. I wonder how many played. The place was loaded with two of I wonder players. how many of them actually played. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're, uh, we're winding down halftime here, and Fans are eagerly anticipating uh, more fireworks here in the second half. Down on top, 21-14. And uh, we're going to take a look at some of the first half highlights. And uh, there were plenty of them, Coach. There are lots of them. Here's the first one. Great pass here from DeWilt and an outstanding catch. 
And look at that open field running. Yep, breaks a tackle, gets the TD. Bruce Mann throwing it back over the middle to Rob. Watch his catch. And then falling forward. <laughs> it's a big body falling forward. Again, here's Mann. This is a Devontae Stein. And this is such an easy throw. And it, it had just perfect touch on it. Beautiful spiral in stride, easy to catch. Touchdown Chargers. This is the TD to Money. Isn't this a great run by Money? He breaks two tackles by linebackers and then gets into the end zone, breaks another tackle there, another tackle there, and forces himself. He was actually down on the one, but yeah. I'll give him the effort for the touchdown. That's why I wondered about that. Yeah, if they called in, if they would have asked us, we had told them it was on the <laughs> one. But here's a run by Mann and a great block by Stevenson, forcing it into the end zone, which allowed Mann to, the pressure through. He actually pushed uh, one defender into the other. And this is the big fumble right here. Dow, or Midland's driving down the field. Walker gets the ball. Good open field tackle. And then the ball just bounces right out of his hands. Well, it was kind of flying out there. Mm -hmm. He's a uh, big, big play. That's one chink in his armor probably as he has a tendency to do that. Well, Dave, we have some interesting halftime stats, uh, courtesy of the Midland Daily News. Bruce Mann, 9 of 10. Whoa. That, you know, that's pretty good for 159 yards and two touchdowns. Wow. Peyton DeWill, 15 of 18, 136 yards, two touchdowns. Wow, again. Mann has 36, 13 carries for 46 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Rob, four catches for 58 yards and touchdown. Stein, two catches for 65 yards and a touchdown. And Walker, five catches for 47 yards. So, so, Coach, you're telling me combined, these two quarterbacks, 24 for 28, over 300 yards, or pretty close to 300 yards. Yeah, we don't usually see that in a season, 24 <laughs> no. for 28. But, yeah, tonight it's fabulous. Great quarterback play. We yeah. did, we did, we were commenting, and it was one of your keys, that, uh, that a big part of this game was going to be Bruce Mann and containing him, and Midland has not been able to do it Let's so say we far. got the keys to the game, and, again, like I said, these these keys deal with all, both teams, all six of them either way. And again, I still believe field position by special teams. We haven't seen many punts, but uh, the turnover was big by yep. Walker. Uh, 40 points. Both teams are really on a pace for 40. They, they, that's not out of the picture. We've talked about open field tackling and, the, and trying to contain these, these receivers. Quarterbacks are definitely dominating the game. And we have not yet seen the quarterbacks being under pressure. We've seen some sporadic attempts at it, but for the most part, they're able to stand in there and complete as many passes as they have. Vince Walker's had a couple of sacks, but yeah, by, a lot of times that was caused by a, you know, like a Good, slow snap well, or I something it, like that. Or personally, I think it was caused by great coverage. De defensive yeah. coverage. Yeah, there's there's Bruce Mann warming up, number two. You mentioned uh, he's a big fella, 6'2", 210, um, and... He has just gotten better uh, as the season's gone on. He had, you know, the Dow lost their first game of the year at Mount Pleasant against their tough Oiler team. And man, kind of got better as that game he got went on. Got much better as the game went on and much better as the season went on. You know, there's a there's a rhythm to a new team. You, you get in, you know, new receivers. And really, it's something that cannot be done in seven on seven in the summer. It has to be done with another team. And Mount Pleasant is a very good team. Right. I mean, we're going to have uh, a number of teams in Division One, Two, Three, and Four this year from the Saginaw Valley. Right. So uh, you know that, that's uh, well. Dow's loss is to Mount Pleasant, who's six and two. Midland's only loss is to Lapeer, who's eight and zero. So you know it's uh, both teams seven and one coming in, uh, suffering defeats to a couple of pretty good teams. And you know what? There's a couple of pretty good teams playing here tonight. Absolutely, absolutely. There's, uh, like we had mentioned, there's... Uh, and you know, I'll tell you, even though we have a lot of offense going on by the quarterbacks, 
I think the defense has played very well. The secondaries have had good coverage. It's just that sometimes that ball is right on the money. Sometimes it's just good off, good offense, plain and simple. Yeah, a lot of those passes to Rob, for example, had had good coverage. He's just uh, six six, and when he puts his arms up there, you know, he's eight feet tall. And uh, if it's well thrown, there's just not much you can do about it. And the same with Walker. And the same with Walker. Get the ball out of his hands. And so it'll be interesting to see if uh, the coaches, our town is blessed with two excellent football coaches, Eric Metner, um, head coach of the Chemex, and Jason Watkins, Dow High's head coach. Watkins has uh, really done a great job. He's uh, been in at the helm since uh, 2009, Metner since 2008. And... Uh, uh, both programs have thrived under their leadership. I mentioned it's the the two teams have played 47 times coming into this one. Middle and a big edge, really, 36 and 11. But a lot of that was because in the early days, Midland won a they won a lot in, in the beginning until uh, Dow had that state championship team back in 1976 led by Scott Alexander and uh, Kevin Northrup, and uh, that was a great team, one of the best teams uh, the city has ever seen, really. But in that stretch, Midland took a big lead until uh, Dow won uh, two straight shutouts in 85 and 86. And then it was kind of back and forth there in the, the mid-90s. Dow had the edge and won three straight from 95 to 97. And then uh, Midland ran off a string of nine straight between 2003 and 2009. And uh, we mentioned Dow won in 2010, 24 nothing. Midland with three straight between uh, four straight counting the playoff game in 2011, 12, and 13. And Dow was victorious last year to complete their perfect season, 9-0. Uh, were the Chargers last year and when they beat the Chemex 35-17. It's one of the great rivalries in the state. It really is. It really is. It really and all you got to do is look in the stands. And um, I was uh, uh, saw a fan out there who's not used to coming to these games. They said, this is the biggest crowd I've ever seen at a high school game. Plus, on the kickoff return. and Outstanding coverage by yeah, Midland. Yeah, it sure was. It was uh, Grant Granesco and Hunter Schneider um, knocking Huss right out of bounds back at the 16-yard line. Well, Dow well, had it. Uh, Dow's going into the wind here. I don't, I don't think the wind has really seemed to be a big factor. The flag is looks like it might be, but um, the way those quarterbacks throw it with the velocity and on a line, it hasn't really uh, deterred the passing game at all. Well, let's see if there's any changes here in Midland's coverages. Mike Robb, split wide to the right. He's had a big game. Mann's going to start with a run, and it's, he's brought down by Vince Walker. Plows ahead. We now have four straight snaps that have been low to the quarterback. He's going to get about three yards on the play. He has a, man has a little Tim Tebow to his game. Yeah, he does. Where he... Yeah, well, right he there, he's just a straight power runner. He can also move out of the pocket, and he's also an accurate passer. So uh, when I see him play, that's that's who I, who I think of. And looks for Rob. Fires downfield. He's got Huss. They kind of uh, lulled the Chemex into thinking he was going to go to Mandy. Checked off of him and found Huss down all the way out to the 36, and that was that easy vote. Vince Walker is so close to making the tackle and man just has a feel for it. Man threw that before Huss made the break. And which just was a, a great throw. On the money with some heat. Oh, uh, just like that up to the 36. Man back to pass again over the middle. It's Cook and he's going to move the chains again. He caught it, went down before uh, he was going to take a big shot. Good concentration by Cook. And Dow moves the chains again up to the 48. So if there were adjustments, uh, 
Dow has handled them. They have not uh, missed a beat here starting off the second half. 21-14, the Midland defense is going to have to stop them eventually because uh, Dow with the seven-point lead on the move. Man, back to pass again. Over the middle. This time it's throw wild. They're going to throw the flag. Not sure about that one. That ball was sailed high, but uh, two officials saw the hit come in early. It's going to be pass interference on the Chemex. Well, what we're seeing now is Vince Walker That's moving around. That Chemex. time he was over the center and coming hard from a stand-up position. And they're, they're trying to get him into different blocking situations to see who, who cannot he's handle him. Yeah, he's they handled him pretty well when he's on, on the perimeter. He's the guy that... And now he's down again over the nose. That they figure it's going to have to get some pressure on man. First and 10 again. Dowd is marching down the field. Cook in motion to the right. Man, back to pass. He's going deep for Stein. And he drops oh, the ball. Wow. Oh, boy. That could have been a TD. That was an in and out. Those are passes we usually don't see Stein drop. No, he got a step on the defender, and uh, man put it on the money. Stein must have took a, taken a little peek there, trying to make a move before he caught it. Threw the ball early, so Stein had a chance to adjust to it and just didn't bring it in. Second and 10. Well, Midland has changed a little bit. They've put another defensive back in to uh, adjust Wilson. And and have given up the rush, so it's a, in in essence a three man rush, and that man was enough. To Walker runs him down. That time Walker got the pressure on, showed good speed to uh, bring down man. He's going to gain about a half a yard. He'll bring up third and long. Yeah, Midlin has now gone to a in essence a, a, a thirty five three. Vince Walker is a pretty good football player. Again, and we have yes, Vince Walker is putting pressure, pressure, pressure on the quarterback, even with just home. three men. Third and nine. Dow's opening possession here of the second half, trying to extend their lead to two touchdowns. They've marched steadily down the field. Man, back to pass, quarterback draw. He's got room to run. He's going to be close. Tries to drive ahead. He's a little shy of the first down. I wouldn't be surprised if he doubt go for it here because it's uh, the 30-yard line, third and two. Too far for a field goal, too short for a punt. The ball in the 29, fourth, yeah, fourth and two. Quarterback and, hurt. Yeah, he might have got yeah, he one got of those a, got in a the hit. thigh. Right. Uh, and that's a pretty big. That's a big loss right there. I'll be. Uh, he looks to be in some pain there too. I don't know if he just took a shot. You mentioned how DeLong had that deep thigh bruise. I wonder if Man uh, has a similar situation. He's in some pain. Training staff attending to him. Looks like they're almost trying to stretch out. I don't know if it's a cramp that they're trying to work through. He hadn't really shown indication of having cramp in his legs previously. So he gets up. Uh, it's a pretty significant limp he's got going on right now. And so on fourth and two. Josh Reitma. I think Reitma is the backup quarterback. Backup quarterback. And he's been gimpy this year with a. He's high had an ankle. ankle. Yeah, he's uh, he missed some. Yeah. Some action with the ankle. But instead, they're going to go with Rob at quarterback. Here. 
They're going to call timeout. Midland thinks Dow flinched, but uh, Dow had called the timeout. Time I think regardless of their situation, they really need to go for it here. Oh, they definitely need to go for it. And so uh, I think they're evaluating really what what play to run. If Rob is back there, you think that's a, he's going to run the ball? Absolutely. You know, he could fall forward for two yards. <laughs> I mean, really. So he could go under center and fall. Yeah, just he is, fall He forward. is two yards tall. Right. So. Two yards plus. <laughs> exactly. He's got plenty of. Absolutely. And if he stretches out, it could be three. So it looks like they're really trying to decide what to do. This time, Reetma will come in. Josh Reitma, the senior. And Midland will probably come in with a, uh, a run first offense. So we'll see. Reitma. Yep, Midland's in their thrown regular. In, thrown Midland's the, in their run defense. Thrown into the fire here. Reitma back to pass under pressure. Launches downfield. He's got it. Rob. And he's going to score. Reitma throws it high Touchdown. to the. Towering Rob, who just goes up and gets it. Oh, what a moment for Josh Reitma coming off the bench, his teammates mobbing him. I am happy for Josh Reitma. How about that? And there's a stunner a, coming in. Took a shot. Took a shot. They just said, hey, we're just going to let our big guy go up and get it. And he did. Wow, what a stunner on... Uh, with man going down, and it's going to give him time to get healed up a little bit. And Dow takes a two touchdown lead. Wow, what a dramatic moment in this game! Wow, that's that's unbelievable. And you know, again, you have a six-five receiver who can jump versus a regular-sized defender, right? And it just is it just going to happen? Just can't cover him. He, he stood in there. He knew he was going to take a lick. He said, hey, we're just going to throw it up. And Rob runs it into the end zone. Dow goes on top 28-14. A very impressive drive with a uh, wow kind of ending to that drive. Okay, so... My thought always as a coach is, what did you do on your first series of the second half? What did you do at the end of the half that either helped or didn't help you? And what is going to go on now in this first series? When well, the first series, Dow goes down, the quarterback gets hurt, the sub comes in, throws a touchdown, mm -hmm. touchdown. Uh, and now you've got a two-touchdown lead. How does Midland answer that? Yeah, this, this you know, is How does Midland answer that? Would you say this is a pretty big moment in this game? Oh, don't you I think? think this is a huge moment in this game. Dow is, it's almost like added momentum given the circumstance. Short kickoff. Fielded uh, at about the 22, and uh, that's a chance freed. We'll bring it across the, tw uh, across the 35 to the 37. I'm not a big fan of short kickoffs. I'm, I'm a big fan. If you're going to kick it short, hit that low line drive, you know, that's a little more difficult to handle. But I'm not a big fan of the pop ups. Yeah, unless, and, unless you have a guy that can really pop it yeah, up. Yeah, pop it up in the air in where the corner. You have time to cover it or right. he misses, if he mishandles it. But. I don't want to give anybody the ball in the 37 yard line. And so we'll see. But I guess maybe that's better than having to run it back. I mean, that's, True. that's you know, that's your other option. But the Chargers, you can almost sense that they are uh, All right, Midland's even in an more empty energized. formation. Quick out to DeLong. Mike Robb. Mike Robb is having a whale of a ball game. Besides his uh, obvious prowess receiving, he's made some big plays on defense. It's going to be a big loss. DeLong is noticeably not as quick as he's been. Yeah. You know what I mean? The injury to him is significant. It's a deep thigh bruise, yeah. and it is significant. He's given all he's got, but there's that little, he's about a step slow. Yep. 
Warren takes the handoff brought down by Stevenson. Try to catch Dow by surprise there on second and long, but they were not surprised. And it's going to bring up third and 12. This is a big play. Midland on the brink of uh, giving the Dow the ball back right away after their big touchdown drive. Midland has run the little screen to the wide side here many times. Dewilt back to pass. He's got some time. Fires down. He's got a it has to be a flag. Early contact. Uh, wow. He's asking, DeLong is asking why there isn't a penalty, and the reason is that the receiver ran into the defender. There was contact. There's definitely but the contact. receiver ran into the defender. So Midland turns the ball over just like that, three and out. Dow's going to get the ball back in good field position. Money the punter. Good punt. Going to take a midland bounce. Going to take a huge midland bounce all the way down to the 12-yard line. Terrific kick by Martin Money. Well, this is uh, this is do or die time for Midland. It feels like down by two touchdowns. Man is going to come back into the game, and he's uh, looks pretty good running out there. Well, I would probably say he's not going to run too many times. Might not. I, I, I would say that uh, until Midland comes back in this ball game, going to play it safe with him. And I'm going to see what Midland's going to do here. Midland is back in their 30 defense. Wilson's going to take the pitch left. He's going to cut up. Oh, great run. Still on his feet. All the way out to the 20s, 22 yard line before Shane Meyer trips him up. Good block out on the edge. There is a flag on the play. That might be a hold where that was thrown. It was right at the, it will be a holding. It was right at the spot where Wilson cut back up. And so instead of that big first down gain, he'll step off half the distance to the goal for Dow. Down to the four yard line. And so that's big. Those, those are big penalties because it takes away your first down and it, and it just puts you right back in that hole again. First and 18, man has not been deterred by adverse conditions here. Been played tremendous. Quick pass, oh, and that was a good stick. Stein with the reception, Dominowski hit him right away for uh, probably about a six yard gain. We'll bring up second and 12. Now just trying to eat into that uh, long yardage situation here. One thing you just feel with Dow offensively, if they get in trouble, they can always go to number one. Oh, yeah. It, it's just been I mean, number so four. And number four? Yeah, I meant number for, and four, for yeah. Rob because they just yeah. throw it up. He's under pressure, and he's brought down. Good pressure by that time by the Chemex. Looks like uh, they Landis. Were, they were looking at, at, at Stein over here, and Dominanski had him. Very well covered. Dominowski's been a great player Walker. all this year. He has been on uh, both sides and of the ball. Walker put, put the catch on. It looked like Walker but might have been held a little bit there, but he he kind of forced uh, man to step up a little quicker than he wanted right into the the pass rush. You know, Walker's been held on every play. I mean, really. <laughs> The guy is. So here we go, third and long. This is big for the Chemic defense to hold here. He's gonna look down, he's under pressure again. Matt, he fires, he's got Rob, and he's gonna be short. DeLong got over there along with Freed. It was a great play by uh, by Mann to keep the play alive and find his favorite target. But it'll bring up uh, fourth and three, and Dow will be forced to punt. When we talked about that field position 
earlier in the game, and that was a, a play for Midland right here. Great, great defense, great field position coming up for Midland. Lots going to happen on this punt. Low snap. Good punt. DeLong's going to field it. He still got it. Dow thought he threw it. He threw. He held up a fair catch. Well, you have seven officials out there, and none of them are going to. It call was kind there. of a quick. Yeah, he had his hand I, up. Yeah, I think he did, but they're now they're going to discuss it. I'm not sure what you'd change if you saw it, if you didn't see it the first time. All right now, here we're going to see it on the replay. Wow, well, it's a big break for Midland. He didn't have his hand up high. You can see he did have it. He put his right arm up. Yeah, that was a break for Midland. Because the, the defenders stopped. Right. Stevenson and Huss stopped on the play. Big break for Midland at the 28. I feel like they have to convert here. And the center snapped the ball. He didn't have the right count. And... Uh, Nobody else had moved. So Midland, after that big break, looking to move the ball and uh, dug See, themselves a hole. Once that arm goes above your shoulder, yeah. it doesn't, it, it's okay if it's down in here, you know, you're waving. That's when, but once that arm goes up. That's a fair it, catch. That's a fair catch. Waving it or not. You can see why the Dow defender stopped. Yeah, absolutely. Second and 14. Just over four minutes to go in the third quarter. Will fires. He's got DeLong. Hit immediately by Huss. He's going to get some of that yardage back. Down to the 25-yard line. Bring up third and seven for the Chemex. And who do you think they're going to throw to? Mr. Walker? You got that. Short one-on-one -on -one bet. Martin Money will probably go in motion. No, nope, he's going to block on the back side. Roll to the right. Wow, what a surprise. <laughs> There's no place to throw. He has to throw, to throw it. it away. Yeah. What he's, a surprise. Instead of just kind of dropping back, Midland rolls, and uh, you kind of take away half the field in that situation. Nobody could get open. Great job by the Dow secondary, and it's fourth and seven. Whoa, what a big play. The Dow defense has uh, really stepped up this half. Right here might be the biggest play of the game. Might be the biggest play of the game right here. Mm -hmm. And where is Walker? Walker's on the far side, DeLong on the short side. Midland's got to hurry up here. Yeah, yeah they're going to call time timeout. Out. Coach Metner knows this is a big play. They want to take some time to get the, the correct play call. The Dow faithful on this side are going crazy right now. They are fired up knowing what a big play this is. This is a perfect situation for Stevenson on a stunt. He's a tough customer. He's a he tough guy to block because oh. they're an empty which means nobody's out back there back up except the quarterback. So they'll have tight coverage on Walker and DeLong. And if that's the case, now you're looking to Domininsky or Money. And really, he's, his eyes are on DeLong and Walker. Mm -hmm. it'll, it'll, it's really a big play right here. And what Dow does, if they decide to do coverage, I'm going to bet that he makes he completes the pass. You've got to make him move his feet. Stevenson on that last play just uh, blew up the blocker to wreak havoc on uh, and get additional pressure on the quarterback. So here we go. Fourth and seven from the Dow 25. See Walker's in tight. See where he's at? Yeah, you got to cover him in tight. He's staying back to block. Oh. Going down the field to Warren. He overthrows him. They try to go for it all. 
Walker stayed in the block, so he wasn't even uh, an option. He just put, uh, thought that Warren could beat his man. It was pretty good coverage by the Chargers, and uh, DeWilt's pass sails too high. Dow holds on down. Wow, that was, a, as I said, that was, that, that makes you blink right there. You know, you, somebody blinked. And now Dow has better field position than he had to start, to start yeah. the whole series. Now, if Dow turns around and puts this one in, it's, it's trouble. It's really, a, it's, it's a long way away. Two touchdowns, that's manageable. Three touchdowns is not. Man back pass. Oh, hitch and go to Rob, and he's got him again, and he's going to go all the way. They ran the hitch and go. He beat his man, broke the tackle, and Mike Robb's giant night just got bigger. Cut. It got so big. This is unbelievable. This is such a beautiful pass, and really, it's good coverage right there by DeLong, but again, you know, we're looking at that step by DeLong that's just, you know, a half a step short. He tried he to, push to push him push down, him down of and it's, wrap him he up. Does, he does, and those long strides, that's one, two. Look at that, one, two. You know, I mean, that's, you can't max that up. I was four, one, two, three, four, <laughs> you know. Wow. Wilson's extra point is good. And Dow, just like that, extends the lead to 35-14. Stunning that was turn of events here. Talk about a big play offense. Huh? Oh, my gosh. Big play offense. And what a night for the quarterback and his number one, number one receiver. Number one. Mike wow. Robb, he's had a big season, but nothing bigger than tonight. He has come up. I mean, he just doesn't have an answer for him. Kick again, build it at the 30. It's vocal, not much room to run. Now you see, I'm kind of surprised vocal is not in the game as a running back. I mean, earlier in the game, he had uh, 300 plus yards right. rushing before Warren came back. And really he's been a non-factor. And I thought Sam Vocal was a pretty, pretty good runner. His father, Brian, played for me. Mm -hmm in the 80s and was an outstanding running back, just outstanding. And uh, I, I have not seen Sam, and I've been waiting to see him play. Midland has not run the ball no, very often No, have not run today. the ball very much. And I don't think they're going to run it very much at this uh, point. No. they got to find an answer for this and try to get some quick strikes of their own. A little inside screen to Walker, but well defended by Dow. Zach Peterson on the stop, number 72. That happened a little too fast. You know what I mean? It, yeah. The whole thing was a little too fast. And Dow was not out they did of not position they, yet. Yeah, they were yeah. in position to get fooled. Right. Second and seven for the Chemex. Pass completed out there to Money. Going to be a, a little sh shy of the first down, through third and two. What, what a yeah, third yard and, and a half maybe. Yeah. Full two. Imperative for Midland to get the first down here. Oh, I think they're going to be going for it regardless. Dewell back to pass, looking for Warren. Got him. First down. Run out of bounds by Aritma. Out at the 48 yard line. Kemic pass complete to number five, Andre Ward for. Midland's back down. in that no huddle. Play sent in from the sideline. Right. 
Two minutes to go here in the third quarter. Down top, 34-14. Through two uh, dramatic touchdown. Pitch and catch to Mike Robb. DeWilt back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Floats it to Money, but what great a job. Defensive play. What a terrific that was Muhammad. defensive play by Jared Muhammad. He was I open mean, momentarily. That was fantastic. And really good money was open. Now he's not open. This is a great play by DeWill. He gets up, steps up. Does not go over and just a tad just short. A little short. Wow, what a play. Both both ways. I mean, DeWilt made a great play stepping up to throw the ball. And he threw it on the money. Two money. Two money. Second and ten Chemex. Warren split wide to the left out here. Calling in the play to DeWilt, his senior quarterback. DeWilt back to pass. Flags on the play. Walker's got the catch and hauled down. Nice job by Rob. Flag on the play. I'm going to guess that's going to be against Midland. I think the flag was dropped on both sides of the field. Procedure call against the Chemex. So that'll uh, that hurts. That really hurts. Penalties when you're behind, they hurt you. I mean, that's an understatement of. But really, they you just they just kill you when they happen. They'll drop it back to the 43-yard line. Minute 44 in the third quarter. Second and 15 for the Chemex. Wilt back to pass. He's looking for Walker. Heavy pressure. And he's still on his feet. Needs a block. He got a block from Dominowski. And DeWilt is going to run about a mile and a half to get about six. But a uh, tremendous job of making something out of nothing to midfield. If he goes down there, it's going to be third and forever. Instead, he makes it a third and eight. Brings a third down and eight for the Kimmicks on the 50-yard line. DeWilt showing uh, savvy on that play. Again, Midland Good has feet. two plays to get eight yards. And I just cannot see them giving up the ball at this point, especially at midfield. Two tight ends in this formation. Looking for Dominowski, and he goes down. Yeah, there's a flag this time. Got tangled up with Muhammad and uh, just eliminated Dominowski from the pattern. And that's a big play for Midland. See, that's a, that's a, a call, I think, in high school that, it, that really the college rule is much better. And that is, you know, if it's an uncatchable ball, there's no interference. Although he went down so early, it's hard to yeah, know if it was or not. It was uncatchable. It, was, it really was. I mean, it was out of bounds. Nevertheless, it'll move yes. the chains. Absolutely. And Midland will have the ball at the Dow 35, looking to respond a minute 12 in the third quarter. Just feel that Midland has got to score here to stay in this game. Back to pass. It's completed to Burrell. Takes a big hit. By Cook. He's going to gain five on the play. Brought down by number three, Justin Cook for the Chargers. Big Brings stick by Cook there. For the on the His little under passing, under zone passing has uh, been very effective for them in the last few plays. Second and five, Chemex. DeWilt back to pass. He's going to go deep, looking for Walker, and he's got it. What Touchdown. a play by Walker. Oh, my that goodness. Tremendous. 
It's exactly what we've seen on both sides by Walker and, and, and Rob. And Rob. Go up, be able to go up, get the ball, throw it up and throw it up in the air and let your athlete go underneath it. Which he did. He just went up high. Nothing the defender could do. It really was a pretty good coverage, but sometimes the guy can just go up and get it. Yeah, it was, it was great, really good coverage. Very good coverage. He just out jumped him for the ball. Extra point is good. And Midland desperately needed to score. Did just that. And so now with uh, 31 seconds to go in the third quarter, Midland trims that lead to 35-21. Their defense has just got to step up here. Coverage of this football game is being produced by MCTV volunteers and staff. If you'd like to work on shows like this one, come to the next orientation studio training class on the second Saturday of November, the 14th, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Cost is just $45, which includes the annual access user fee. Call 837-3474 for more information or go to the MCTV studio in the lower level of the Grace A. Dow Memorial Library. Well, coach, we got well, a ball game. And we've got a ball. We've had a ball game, Dave. Perfect ball game tonight. Packed Midland Community Stadium. Huss is going to catch the ball. It bobbles it. He's at the two, and he is uh, did pretty well this, to get what he did out I, of that one. I don't understand. They're worried about the pop up. So instead of leaving one guy deep and protecting the perimeters, they've got all three guys short. And you got to have somebody back when they kick the ball deep. So they've, they've allowed the ball to, to hit the ground, and as a result, they've had terrible field position. But they've converted into touchdowns anyway. So, yeah, that has you no. Know, but you just look, you just can't have you can't have poor special team play. I mean, you have to have a plan for everything. This time, Chance Freed is out here on uh, on Rob. Quick handoff to Wilson. He's quick. Going to pick up about nine before finally being knocked down by Alex England. What quick feet by Wilson as the quarter will come to an end here. Ball carried by number 14, Johnny Wilson for the target. See, they moved along to safety and, and put somebody else over here on Rob simply because. I think uh, DeLong's still a little, yeah. a little gimpy. I think that last touchdown really showed right, that. Right. And uh, while we uh, take a break here between quarters, we're going to toss it down to this important message. Get in the game? Join MCTV as an Nexus TV producer and produce programs like baseball, basketball, football, and, and more. more. Call MCTV at 837-3474 to get started. Get in the game and let's produce a program. Wow, I just love that. I do is, too. That, is that Brad Pitt on there? Yes, it is. Brad Pitt. <laughs> is that? Man. It's our director, Billy, and he wants an agent. <laughs> oh, love that ad. But it actually just demonstrates the great work that MCTV does, bringing uh, uh, countless uh, athletic events and all kinds of events uh, to and, our community and throughout you know the what? year. Not only that, professionally done it is for volunteers it is professionally done you when i watch these games on the replay i, I am just shocked at this at the, the, the completeness of the game it's fantastic second and one man's gonna run it this time gonna get the first down landis in on the stop for midland now Here's the question. 35-21, your quarterback was knocked out earlier, now he's back in the ballgame. Do you shrink the game 
or do you continue with your big play offense? I mean, that's that's an interesting little dilemma right now. Knowing how easy it was for them to score, right? Do you, do you shrink the game, or do you? Wilson takes the handoff, brought down. It was uh, Max Clemish on the stop. Well, they've run it three times on this uh, drive here, and I'm not sure they ran it three times in the second quarter. So they may try a little bow, Coach. Yeah, I, I would probably say so. Ball on the 31-yard line. Clock is moving. Coach Watkins knows the clock is his ally right now. And they can't yeah. score if they don't have the Dow ball. needs another touchdown. Back to pass. And, oh, boy, a little miscommunication there. Yeah. Dow dodged a bullet. That was thrown into a crowd of white shirts. I think he expected Huss to come across the middle where he kind of stayed a little bit more in the seam there. And uh, surprised everybody. Midland... Uh, we have had a shot at the interception there, but it's third and nine. Another huge play for the Kemic defense. Is this Mike Robb time again? No, they're doubling him out there in the perimeter. And flag on the play is false start on Dow. Turn it into a third and 14. I think that increases the chances of the play going to Robb. The Double coverage or not, you know, they, they just throw it up to the big guy. That's one thing man did as well as Ritma with Rob is on those passes, you just throw it high where see, he's the only guy that can see, catch we got, him. we got double coverage on both wide receivers. So man looks for Rob. He's wide open. He catches it, but he's not going to get the first. Threw that one a little too high. So that five yard penalty comes back to haunt him. 36. And that will send out the punting unit. The middle defense holds. At least it appears that way, unless Dow has any trickeration. DeLong goes back to field the punt. Bruce Mann is the punter. And he gets the punt off. His own man ran into him. DeLong lets it hit. It's going to take a side bounce, charger bounce really, and it's going to wobble on down to the 13. So very good kick. Very good kick. Got a great roll. Kicked it away from the Again, receiver. Keep it inside the 20 yard line and Midland's got a long way to go, 9.51. And uh, each possession gets bigger and bigger as we go. That was huge for the Midland defense to stay in the game, to hold Dow right there. They're gonna have to move down the field here to try to cut this lead in half. Dow has to put pressure on the quarterback. After this weekend, the game will be shown on MPS TV 190. Check the Sunday Midland Daily News and Midland Public Schools. Just kind of feel tension in the air. Time. Oh yeah, this is a this, this is a tight ball. You know, it's 35-21, but it is a tight ball game. Because you know both teams can score in a second. DeWilt had a big night of his own. Looks downfield. He's got Dominowski for uh, about a four-yard gain. Now probably content to give up that kind of a gain at this point. Mason Dominowski makes a lot of catches. He's a tremendous possession receiver. He's made, yeah, he's made some big catches this season, no question about it. Back to pass, intercepted by Rob, and he's gonna score an interception. A late flag. 
really ill-advised pass there. A flag. And I think it's going to be after the. It's after the score. Mike Robb, big night, keeps getting bigger. Personal it's a personal foul, foul against Dow. against Midland. Actually, oh, I'm sorry, against Midland. It's really the first. Just not a good pass by uh, and, Joel. And you're going to throw it right into the six foot six guy. And he throws it just that. There's the misplay. Overthrown. It was kind of in between receivers. Right. So I'm not sure who, who the intended was, but uh, well, there's your 40 points. Nice job by Huss. Extra points, good. Wow, and that was a great job by Huss. 42-21. That was a huge play right there. I mean, that was an incredibly big play. It was that, you know, we you have to avoid those kind of turnovers that well, leads to another score. An instant six. And Especially when you're trying to come from Okay. Behind. Everybody laughed at me when I said score 40 points. Including me. Now, let me tell you this. I'm still not comfortable with 42. <laughs> if, I, if I'm if i down, I'm not comfortable with 42 because Midland has the capability of three scores in nine minutes. But See, Midland lost a possession here, and that was big. That, that Losing those possessions is big. Well, lost possession along with giving up See, points. See, if you looked at this right now, you might say, well, Dow is dominating this game, and, and yet, Midland has played very, very well. It's just been those darn big, big plays. plays. Yeah. Okay, now, what do you do here, Dave? You got the ball on the 45-yard line. You hit a low-line drive. You kick it in the end zone. No, you get a low-line drive. Oh, oh Dave. You're so you. good. Why, why risk a return? <laughs> Give him the ball to the 20-yard line and call it good. And a late and flag. Another flag out here on, it's, it's on one of the two. They were both scrambling. Somebody better get our players under control on both sides. Yeah, it could it's get gonna, it's, it's gonna start to get chippy now. First and foul and on both sides. Yes. So it's going to offset. But it's still chippy. Yeah. Starting to get chippy. And that's what I don't like to see. This is where you have to step in and lay the hammer down on it. Ladies and gentlemen, with that interception, I think Rob, does he have four touchdowns tonight? Three receiving and interceptions? Three receivings and an interception. Wow. Probably in the annals of this rivalry, there's not a lot of four touchdown performances, I wouldn't imagine. Not many. And not many went on both ways. Exactly. You know. Yeah, for either side. Yeah, I mean, offense and defense. See, now both wideouts are in it on defense for Dow. Devontae Stein is over here on this outside linebacker, and Rob is on the other. DeWilt's going to keep it and just swarmed under. Devin Anzirut on the stop for Dow. He's going to lose a couple of yards as the clock runs under nine minutes to go. Second and 12 for the Chemics. Back to pass, great coverage, fires downfield, broken up by Huss. Great job, Mason Dominowski, the intended receiver, but Huss just reached around and batted Mason the ball down. Pass intended for number four. Mason Dominowski, broken up by number 17. Eric Huss, 6'1", 
senior. Plays both ways. Seems like there's been a long line of Huss brothers in recent memory, just like a uh, long line of Ritma brothers. Zach and Jake, both playing for the Chargers, preceding Josh. Dewilt back to pass on third and 12. Looking for DeLon, broken up. Stevenson, uh, Stevenson well had covered. His, Stevenson had his hands on the ball. Uh, he intercepts it, he's running in the end zone. Here comes the punt. That was a 12. tough three and out. Very yeah. tough three and out. Yeah. But only a minute off the clock. You know, that's not, it wasn't a long off the clock. But you can just, there's a I different would, feel right I now. would watch out for a fake punt with money. Even with 12 yards to go? 12 yards. He does unload the punt. Kind of got hung up. That got hung up in the wind, it looked yeah. like. And it's, Dow's going to have great field position at the 40. Well, they're going to run yeah. some clock or go for the jugular here. You, you put the pedal, pedal to the metal? Or do you that wouldn't shock me. Wouldn't shock no, it wouldn't shock me either. So Dow in command right now. 42-21. It's been a great I see that performance by the Dow offense. DeLong is back out at uh, wide out. He's a warrior, I gotta tell you. He is. I know he's hurting. He is a warrior out there. Wilson, got one block, breaks a tackle. He is quick, still going down the sideline. Oh my gosh, what a run by Johnny Wilson before he's finally pushed out by Clemish. They had him he, in the backfield three times. How fast and did he, he run that 15 yards? Corner. Wow, <laughs> this is amazing. He got some jets. Yes, he just takes the ball. There's a great block right there. He, a missed tackle, an open field tackle, and then he just turns it, on. Turns it. Good block by Cook. Cook's done a great job blocking tonight. He was your underrated. Yes, most underrated player, player in a Donald team. I, I really believe that. Wilson again. This time going to run around left. Brought down this time. Flags going oh, everywhere. Flags. Is it a late hit? Number 14, Johnny Wilson. I like. Well, you can see there are flags everywhere. Personal foul on Midland. This might have been why the ball came Personal loose. The Big penalty for Midland. These personal fouls are very uncharacteristic of Midland. And they had them at, uh, I think it was a Lapeer game where it also occurred. And it, it, they're frustration fouls. Yeah, exactly. What was to say? It, you know, sense it slipping away here and uh, part of it maybe trying to make something happen you do a little too much right and uh, now Dow the clock running the ball on the 12 yard line empty backfield the ball start on Dow Flag on the play. It, it was thrown by the referee in the backfield I'm not sure it was the wide out okay movement. I'll bring up first and 15 from the 17 yard line. Back to pass, it's gonna be a quick one to Rob. He's got room to run on Touchdown. his feet and he flies into the end zone. Oh my gosh. He flew like Superman. He's playing like Superman tonight. Crossing that, pattern. That's five touchdowns. That is five touchdowns. Incredible. By Mike Rob. And this just doesn't have an answer. A little bit of a pick route there. 
Rob turns on the Jets, flies in, lands on the goal line. And with the extra point, Dow is in command, 49-21 with 7.15 to go. We knew both teams were supercharged on offense with lots of players, but Mike Robb has just delivered. Probably one of the bigger performances in the Midland Dow rivalry here. I think it's one of the bigger performances in Dow High history. It might be. I mean, it's just spectacular, offensively and defensively. I mean, both ways. for a touchdown. And he's made some great tackles out in yep. the open field. Holy moly. Just that time through this land, they've been going a lot to him where he just kind of throw it up down the sideline. Let him go make a play that time. Runs the slant, got a Midland is short bit of one a player. Midland has 10 on the field. Still have 10. Money is going to fair catch it. Oh, and I see now. Okay. Here, you, you can't. You fair catch. You, you can't run out stop. of bounds. You know, you make a movement on the field. That's not a fair catch. Yeah. Then. That, you're now. Well, by it'll take over on the 28. 49-21. This has been an amazing offensive performance by Dow High. Incredible. Hand off to Warren. Try to catch him by surprise by running the ball. Gonna get to Virgil Walker is limping off the field here. I don't like the looks of that. No, I don't either. That is not that is an ankle. His brother is gonna come in that for him. Is a, that is an ankle. There's another game to play next week. And I think it's going to be right here. That's my projection. Same two teams. Same maybe? two teams. Same situation. Dow the home team, Midland the visitor. Playoff football. Midland's going to call timeout. Timeout called by Midland High. Well, coach, you just got to say, right, both teams have played pretty well. Dow has just brought their A game tonight. And uh, we, we knew that it was going to be big, that Midland tried to contain Bruce Mann. And uh, man has put up some giant numbers in large part to the incredible play of Mike Robb. Five touchdowns, three touchdown catches from Mann and one from Josh Ritma coming off the bench to throw that big TD. Someone was smiling, smiling about that one. Middle of power formation here. Tried to quick hitter to money to get a couple more. And then almost seems content to let the clock run Ball down here. Well, well, the question is, has Midland packed it in with six minutes to go? I mean, they've lost a long longer, and you've got to figure that, you know, the, the long is still in there, and that is a surprise to me. Third and seven, clock's running. Four, five, forty-five to go. Fires for Warren, nowhere to go. And uh, Muhammad on the tackle. 
Jared Mahama, Mohammed, the senior, bring up fourth and three. Yeah, walk. Uh, Virgil Walker is he's probably done for the night. Millen's going to punt here. This is to injury prevention, or it, it's let's get ready for next week. Money, good, long kick. Huss, fair catches at 32. We're you're now as a coach, you've now worked on what is called a four-minute offense which means it's just going to take me forever to snap the ball. Yeah. It's going to take me forever to run a play, and it's going to take me forever to get up. Right. That was going to bring up the second unit now. Although man is still back there at quarterback. Joel Lundahl, number 20 in the well, backfield. Well, now how does Josh Reitman feel? He Lund puts in Bowie. one play, <laughs> he throws a ball for a touchdown. His quarterback he, rating he is as high as it can go. Yeah. So, and that's going to be handed off to Lundahl. Spin ahead for about a five yard gain. Yeah, Reitman said, no, yeah, I don't want to do that. Wait a minute. My, sta well, my, uh, my stats are great. Things can only go down yeah. if you put me in now. Down by number 38. Wait till I see Josh. I'm going to have to ask him, how do you feel about that? Well, he's played a great game on defense. Had that dramatic moment. That was really that a, was really it was a fumble on the snap. A, Man, monster, falls on it. a monster play in the game. It was fourth down. Yes. And Ritma comes in off the bench. Man, Man gets is hurt. hurt. Throws it up and... Uh, just makes a gigantic play. I know there's somebody that'd be very proud of that. That brings up third down and 22 for the Chargers on their 22 yard line. Third and forever for Dow after the errant snap. Handoff brought down quickly. Ball carried by number 20, Jerry Rundle for the Chargers. Brought down by number nine, Max Clemens. Clemish on the stop. And number two, Zach Donahue for the Kennick. Zach Donahue also on the stop. It'll be fourth down. Now we'll punt it away. Dominowski back to receive. They're, they are going to call the night for DeLong. See if he can even heal up a little more for next week. Low snap. High kick. It's going to hit the ground. Hustle down it at the 50 with 2.49 to go. Charger punt down by number 17, Eric Huss. First and 10 for the Kennecks on the 50 yard line. Now is, looks like they're on their way to their second straight city title. It's the first time they've put back-to-back uh, -back titles since the three-year stretch in 95, 96, and 97. I'm sure you remember that well. Absolutely. I remember all the stretches. <laughs> yeah. Good and bad. You've been on both sides of the various stretches over the years. Both sides of the field, both sides of the stretches. <laughs> yeah. DeWilt, the quarterback. Warren spins ahead. Got tripped up there by. Ball carried by number five, Andre Warren for the Kennecks. Like it was Hunter Clipper. Brings up second down and five for the Kennecks on the 45 yard line. Second and five, Kennecks. A lot of second teamers in tonight. I like that. Warren again. 
Shows some quick feet there. Brought down by Muhammad. He's gonna pick up first down. Five, Andre, Warren picks up the 32-yard line with just 2.15 remaining. First and 10 for the Kimmicks on the Chargers 32 yard line. Well, I'll tell you, Dave, I have never seen an individual performance like we've gotten from Mike Robb tonight. You know, in all of our games that we've done together, and yep. both the homecoming games and, and tonight's game, a five touchdown game and including offense and defense, including offense and defense, but even his offensive non receptions right. have been big, and his defense against the run and the coverage have been big. Yeah, I, uh, it, he was a difference maker for Dow's defense. That's right. not the same Dow defense I've watched all year. He and Devontae Stein were difference makers at that outside linebacker position. Warren's going to move the chains again for Midland. Yeah, he was. Yeah, we've seen some big performances from the Jalen Parmelees, the Judays, the Moneys, the Parsons over the years. When you try to think of some big games in this rivalry, but hard pressed to find a bigger night. This is DeLong, still on his feet. Trying to drive ahead. He's going to pick up about nine. Gets up slowly. Brought down by number six, Jerry Muhammad, and number 23, Jimmy McDonald for the Chargers. And he's going to come out. He's going to spread wide left. He just looks hobbled out there, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Warren. His drive ahead, gets inside the 10. As we get down inside a minute, ball down to the eight. First and goal, Kemmicks. Yeah, man has had a giant night. His statistics are gonna be incredible. Um, and uh, Warren. This looks like a touchdown. Oh, he dives head. He's, He's in. in for the score. Yeah, there's an open spot in there. He, got, he found it. Touchdown. Midland Kevin. able to convert there okay, with 41 five, seconds to go. This is one of the higher scoring games in this rivalry. Seventy-seven total points. If this extra point is good, and it is, how about that? We've had perfect extra points yeah. kicked all night, and a lot of them. And a lot of them. eleven. If you look back, Midland won the playoff game, fifty-six twenty-eight, back in thirteen. But I'm going to look at the TD again by Vondre Warren. This is a good run. They got out onto the perimeter, and you can see the, the lane opened right up. He's going to turn it right in, and there's a, 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 a miss there. not a very good tackle right there. He was expecting to go straight ahead, and he made a nice little move. Well, we know we're going to see an onside. So yeah, this is the second highest scoring game in the history of these of this now, rivalry. Now somebody said to me one time, why would why would the other team onside? Because as a coach, you say never, never, never give up. Right. Until that clock says zero, never give up. Don't give up the, the ship. Never surrender. Because the moment you surrender, you give it up. And sometimes you even lose your team when you surrender. Try more of a loft, and it's going to be a uh, smart play. Fielded. Smart play. Try to catch him off guard yeah, by taking a knee, squid, and that, that'll be the end of it. Flag on the play. Midland was offsides, I think, on that. Flag down back here near where the kickoff was, and they're going to make him kick it again. Midland. Oh, 
offside called on the Kimmicks. Dow High fans exuberant. We're seeing their team's performance tonight. Ready to run, race onto the field in celebration. I'd like to congratulate the Dow coaching staff for an outstanding job tonight of putting their game plan together offensively and defensively. Yeah. And I'd like to congratulate Luke DeLong for playing. Yeah. I mean, he's been hurt, and he's he's been a warrior tonight. He has been. And I just, uh, I've been more and more impressed with He's still in there giving his best. Yeah, he's he's worked really hard to try to overcome that mm -hmm. injury. So I know he's really excited about being able to play tonight. I'm sure he's disappointed in the result. Good thing when both teams yeah, are so gonna successful, say, he's going to get another game. I was going to say, this, it's a five-yard penalty. penalty. you got to give him the five yards. Still expecting the onside. Certainly. More than a poop. Take a knee. There you go. Yep, smart play. It was Joey Lundahl. The senior received it. Just went down. Why risk a fumble? Because now the Dow can just take a knee and run the clock out. Chargers will improve to eight and one on the year. Had a uh, tremendous uh, three-year stretch here under Coach Watkins. 8-3, 9-0 oh last year, 8-1 this year. And Dave, and that is going to be the end of the game right there. That'll do it. A great game here at Midland Community Stadium against two tremendous high school football teams. But Dow just had it clicking tonight. It was a, a great performance by the Chargers. Well, and David, two crucial plays in the whole ball game. The first one was uh, Bruce Mann goes down, Josh Reitman steps in, throws a touchdown pass. Yeah. Then Midland is somewhat back in the ball game and Rob intercepts the pass yeah. for a touchdown. Right. Now those two plays right there, that is 14 shifts. points yeah. that make a big difference in the game for 14 Midland. points that could easily, easily have not have been, been there. Easily have been 14 points for Midland. Yeah. I mean, they're just, or not there, it would have been, uh, uh, you know, 35, 28 and anything can happen at that point. No. Here we go, second half highlights coming up. And this and is the Reitma play. This is the Reitma play right here. And he got leveled. And this is an up, I got the ball. And unfortunately. Is that what it's gonna be called in Dow history, the Reitma play? Yeah, it's gonna call the Reitma play. It's a Reitma. <laughs> it's a Reitma. <laughs> and this is a, another pass here. And again, you know, I can see DeLong just a little bit giving his all, but the big guy can run. Yep. The, the one, thing about, one thing about Rob, he does know where the end zone is. Yeah. There are a lot of guys that have no idea. And this is the catch by Walker right here. And what a throw and what I'm going up in the air and I'm not going to be denied. Yeah. So I'm going to get gonna it. Not going to be denied, Ladies that's for sure. For and I think we got more coming here. Uh, yeah, this is the interception. Yeah, just was. This a lot of pressure here by. DeWilt had a had a really good game, just not on that one. And Rob, uh, and this is Rob again here. This is Rob on that little jailhouse screen, and you see how it's. I'll, remember when I told you it was too. Midland through one, it was too fast. Yeah. And this one here, you know, kind of slow, it develop. allows it to happen. The, the, the linemen get out and block it. This is the run by Warren right here. And again, this is. He kind of finds his way, decides, and then when he says he's going to go, he goes. Yeah. Dives into the end zone Beautiful. to bring it to 
49-28 is our final score. And so Dow High will win their second city title in a row. Midlands regular season will end at seven and two. Dow eight and one. And we'll see what happens when uh, playoff time comes. It we will be, be right well. here next right week. Here. Same time, same station, same side of the field for the two teams. And so. And it will mean just as much. It means just as much. Charger Nation swarming the field, excited in their celebration, and we'll, we'll see what happens. So, Coach, uh, a great performance by the Chargers, as we mentioned. Congratulations to Coach Jason Watkins, his, his third city title as the head coach of the Chargers. And what can you say? Just a great, well, great game for Dow. One last thing. I thought both teams played good defense. And I thought both teams hit hard. It was one of those games you say, well, 49-28, that was really a uh, great offensive game. And it was, but it was also a very good defensive game. And uh, you know, just uh, big plays by Mike Robb. Yep. And so we're gonna um, wrap it up here. Again, your final, Dow High Chargers 49, the Midland High Chemix. 28, congratulations to the Chargers, your 2015 city champions. We will see you, see you next time, folks. Again, Dave Marsh and Frank Aldemore, um, happy to bring you the game tonight as well as this season, and we will see you next time. Good night, everybody.